a con, you know, sort of consumer point from, of view, when they're just going to put it wherever yeah, they're going to no, put in the room? From, from my, my observation so far, there is definitely an advantage. Even when you can't place them optimally, to do at least the source right. Uh, to put it extreme fashion, my take these days is the problem is not the room. The problem is a loudspeaker. And when you go to a hi-fi store and, and, and you listen to a speaker and you like it and they say, and, and, but you know when I take it home it may sound different. Yeah, it probably will sound different. But the reason why it sounds different is not because your room is different, because a loudspeaker was a wrong source to begin with. And that's one of the things that I've learned from the, uh, the uh, uh, Orion, uh, the dipole speaker there. I have numerous responses from people that basically confirm exactly the same things that I, that I have been telling what the thing will do. Independent confirmation in very different rooms. Like I, uh, Dan Berenger is, is a good friend of mine who works on the East Coast, so we are long distance apart, but we are on the phone a lot. And uh, uh, he, he has a pair of Orions and Pluto's or so. And he is a former recording engineer for the U.S. Marine Band. He, he is different than I do. We, we agree on that. I mean, he listens for different things. He's a trained musician, so that's, sorry, I'm not. And, and we listen for different things or so. But we come up with the same conclusions, independent of each other. And we challenge each other, right, to keep each other <laughs> honest, <laughs> I say it, right? It's, it's so easy in sound to imagine things. It's, uh, someone has said, uh, if I suggest something, what you're going to hear, you know, I give you a demo, and I tell you what you're going to hear, it's almost impossible for you not to hear what I told you you are going to hear. It's, it's, a, it's a thing that salespeople in, in high-end audio stores use to great effect, you know, to sell your cables and spikes and, and all sorts of stuff. It's, it's very difficult. I mean, it's, it's honest. People really hear things. People... It's, it's a whole thing, it's happening between your ears. There is no sound. There are only air particles vibrating. There are air particles impinging on your eardrums. That's all. And, and now you're trying to make sense out of this. Now it took a few million years to, to make some sense out of those air particles. Now like the Zen saying, if a tree falls in the forest and nobody is around to hear it, does it make any sound? No, it doesn't make any sound. Sound is just an illusion, as is, as is seeing pictures, color. There is no color. It's totally construct in your head. I, I, I highly recommend this book, This Is Your Brain on Music. It's absolutely fascinating, you know, what, what we have learned very recently, you know, in the last 10 years or so about perception and what goes on. It's, it's, it's just amazing. So when I say we are creating an illusion, we are very good at creating illusions, filling in the missing pieces. Okay? It's, it's much better to leave things out than to add things there because the, the, the brain can fill in what's missing. But if you put in too much wrong stuff or so, it's hard to, for it to get rid of it. The sins of a mission are not too bad. Uh, in the Pluto, um, you use a certain tube length for the tweeter. Is there a purpose for that extra volume? Can it be reduced no, a lot? No, the, on, on the Pluto, the, the tweeter is just a mounting issue. And somewhere I had to mount it, and that's the easiest way to, was just to use the tubes there. And, and this particular tweeter is, is open in the back, okay? And it's, it's actually that causes the internals. It's not that pretty there. It causes pretty bad resonance there. And so there is absorbing material in the pipe, some amount, you know, behind the tweeter. And then there's electronic equalization also because of this. Uh, okay, good. Because um, I sketched up some alter, some uh, variations on the yeah. Pluto material, you know, the PVC pipe and oh, so yeah. on. Some but you need, to, you need to have at least some volume behind Okay. Behind the tweeter, maybe, maybe this much or so, to, okay. to do some absorbing. Okay, and I was wondering if you'd be interested in seeing them. You said had said on the Orion users website you 
you were surprised that no one had gone ahead and altered the materials or the shape. No, I mean, I, the, the Orion, uh, did you speak of Orion? I'm sorry, Orion, about or, the Plutos. Yeah, the, the, the Pluto, I, I consider it's sort of an open platform, and I was, I was hoping to stimulate some uh, thinking, and people try to do the same thing. You know? I mean, if you understand what the basic concept and principle is, uh, you can use different diameter pipes, but with the limits, right? And, and different lengths and stuff like this. <laughs> I hope you'll excuse me interrupting this point. I think we've had most of the relevant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank you very sincerely for coming over, yeah. talking to us, uh, giving us such a beautiful talk. Thank you.